It's only by fluke, actually, that we set up the University of Bristol Innocence Project to be the first innocence project in the UK. I mean, this thing had a life of its own. It has its own legs. I got my job in Bristol uh, in end of 2004, and I did a talk to the students. I told them about my work. I told them about, you know, the idea of an innocence project. And students started to come to me saying, we want to sign up for the innocence project. I said, there is no innocence project. It doesn't exist. It's just an idea. You know, we want to try and support innocence projects to be created. It may be in another university first. That's fantastic. We don't really care where it is. I've only had my job a couple of months, you know. Coming up to Christmas, I was working on some cases with some students saying, look, we get all these letters, you know, what do you think? We got called by the biggest criminal law firm in Bristol, uh, Kelsey and Hall, and they said, oh, we hear you want some support with the Innocence Project. I said, what Innocence Project? It doesn't exist. And they said, well, let's make it exist. You know, we've got five lawyers who want to work with you and the students on these alleged cases of wrongful conviction. Let's do it. And that's how it came about. Um, we quickly sifted some cases. Um, we selected five or six cases that we wanted to work on. Uh, anybody who does Innocence Project work is going to find out that one of the most difficult things is getting the documents in. And, you know, we were rookies. We didn't really know how to do it. Solicitors don't want other people looking over their work, defence solicitors, so they were very reluctant to give us the documents sometimes. But we finally started getting the documents in. Um, we contributed to the referral of a case called Simon Hall back to the Court of Appeal. That's going to be heard in September 2010. So we've got our fingers crossed on that case because if anybody wants to know the details of Simon Hall's case, look on the Innocence Network UK website and you'll see that, you know, we've come up with evidence that likely proves his factual, actual innocence. And so we're really pleased with that. We spent about 2,000 hours in total unearthing that evidence in the unused evidence. We've also just made an application for Neil Hurley. I should have said Simon Hall was convicted of, of, of murder of a 79-year-old lady. He was, he was accused of um, stabbing her 13 times in the face and chest. A heinous, heinous crime for a guy who's 24 years old in prison. And you can imagine the, the, the treatment he gets in prison for being in for that kind of a crime. Another case we've worked on, which we've seen some, some real kind of progress on, is a case called Neil Hurley. Neil Hurley was convicted for murdering Sharon Pritchard, his former uh, partner and the mother of his two children. We've worked that case for years and then we come across, um, buried within the unused evidence, all of these references to exhibits from the crime scene that have never been tested with DNA. And what's fascinating about Neil Hurley, he's been in prison now for 17 years, He's always maintained his innocence. He hasn't complied with his sentence plan and he's not eligible for parole. But in fact, he says that he doesn't want to come out on life license, even if they offer it him. Because if he comes out on life license, there's always going to be doubts that he killed the mother of his children. And he has to come out innocent because he wants to get his two daughters back. He wants them to know he didn't kill their mother. And so, you know, we... We've now put an application form into the Criminal Case Review Commission, um, criticising three previous applications which have been put on, in on his, his behalf, which didn't raise matters which we think should have been raised, but crucially asking for the CCRC to commission DNA testing on more than 120 exhibits from the crime scene which have never been tested. So they're, they're the two big cases that we've been working on to date.